I'm Gigi Pizzicello and I'm 24 years old. I am a professional dancer, I'm a fitness instructor, and I'm a master's student. I've been working for the Brooklyn Nets as an NBA dancer for the past six years. It's been a part of some really pivotal moments of my life. It's just really beautiful to reflect on the joy that it brings me, but also how hard it is to maintain something like that, but it's so worth it. I have been doing auditions and self-tapes, and I had noticed there was a little lump on my neck. I didn't think anything of it. I figured like, oh, the next time I notice it, I'll remember to bring it up to either my sister who's a nurse or my parents to see what they think. They were pretty concerned, but I just thought it was a cyst or something. Got some general blood work, everything looked fine pretty much, but they had suggested go to an ENT specialist. The word cancer holds so much weight. It's definitely not something that I was expecting to hear, but my brain kind of immediately went to like, okay, I'll be sad and then now what are we gonna do about it? not wanting to pause my life, but knowing that, you know, of course your health comes first. From there, just trying to find the perfect surgeon for me. That type of a diagnosis in a very young person like Gianna can be very frightening and uh, anxiety provoking. Fortunately, thyroid cancer is a eminently curable type of tumor. Dr. Kurloff and the team at Lenox Hill made me so comfortable. He went through everything and was very calm about delivering any information to me. Well, the thyroid gland itself is a small organ that sits right in front of the trachea or the windpipe. And the hormone that it produces controls many vital functions in the body. But you can live a perfectly normal, healthy life without the thyroid on a synthetic form of the hormone taken as a pill. case that was I think a good choice. It's not a bad treatment. Most patients recover fully from it very easily. Uh, most of the patients will have a nearly invisible scar and also given her profession she really didn't want to have the need to come back for another surgery. Worked out perfectly. We sandwiched it right in at the end of the regular season right before playoffs. It is scary but Dr. Kurloff and everyone at Lenox Hill I felt already taken care of and just had a lot of trust in them. They were looking at me beyond just a patient. It has been a, quite a gratifying experience for me as a surgeon to take care of someone who's so physically active. She's done amazingly well. She was able to get back pretty quickly back into her routine and her training process. This is just sort of a, a short uh, bump in the road for her and I think she's gonna do great. So I had seen Dr. Kurloff recently and he had just told me that I am cancer free, which is really, really exciting because I've been waiting. Oh no, wait, maybe I will cry. Ah. I'm just, I'm really proud of myself that I got through it. It's unlocked a whole new purpose for me in my life. I'm feeling good and I'm super grateful and it's just a part of my story at this point.